This video is for educational and learning purpose only on the basis of creator's past experience. Hello, welcome to our channel. In this video you will learn about how to select best suitable material for your frame on the basis of strength weight and price. I will compare some popular materials like AISI 4130, AISI 1020. AISI 1018 and AISI 1080. I will show you impact results and effect on these materials for same designs of go-kart, Baja and Formula vehicle and compare these standard materials and try to find out best among them according to our requirements. Till now we have learned how to make frames using weldments and have done all type of analysis on them. We have learned some calculations also. You can see some frame here and models which I had designed for some competitions like go-kart, ATV Baja, Formula race car events like Supra and Hybrid Vehicle Championship, and these frame performed well in those events. So, where should we start from? These are some factor we should focus upon. First we have to think the purpose of utility, for what we are making the frame, is it for go-kart, Baja, Formula Vehicle Supra or any other. Second, strength. According to use we will select a range of strength that our frame should possess. Third, weight. We will find out weight according to our design. Next, cost. If we could afford moderate weight, then we could go with less cost. Next, size. Size also plays small role in weight according to thickness and diameter of structure. Availability. It sometimes plays major role in some teams because, Due to shortage of material they have to spend almost two times more money on material. So I recommend you to check availability in market, as well with all these factors. Here is a comparison between properties of some popular materials which are available in market. Now the main property which you have to focus on, is tensile yield strength. Remember. Yield strength defines the strength of a material, from where, it start deforming in such an extent, that it cannot be recovered. So it is the base, for our selection criteria. Another thing in this slide is, density. Density will change the weight of our frame for same design. If density is high, then weight will be high, and vice versa. But in all these four material, there is a little difference in densities so we don't need to worry about it. It will play a major role when our structure become more complicated and vast. Now, other parameters like ultimate strength, hardness, Poisson ratio, they will not affect our frame that much. Here, fatigue strength is second property to which we have to focus on as our frame will bear fatigue load during race. Like in Baja, we have an off-road track with huddles, mud and some other difficult conditions. So our frame will have to face compressive and tensile loading in thousands of cycles. So fatigue strength play important role in such a case. In go-kart and Formula Vehicle Supra, we need not to worry so much because they use smooth track. But remember, they have to have less weight for better pickup. So here density of material will again play important role. You can see here that shear strength is high for AISI 1080. Now, shear strength is important when you want to choose a material for some sliding work, where shear action is happening between two parts, or any parallel motion is there. And I will mention the link, of the source, where I got properties of all these standard materials. I have prepared three frames, go-kart, Baja, hybrid formula vehicle frame. I have taken, front impact, as priority, for this comparison, as it is the best one for our comparison, because, front impact is common which occurs the most. I have done front impact analysis on them, and got these results. I have separately divides material grades and compared their properties for same load. If you have watched my previous video, you must have remembered how I choose load, for a frame for different analysis. Let's start from weight. Weight is depend on two factors. First, density of material. Second, design of our roll cage. So, we can control weight of our roll cage, either by choosing a material with low density, or by changing, its design. Now. You can see in the table, material in green, 
has less weight material in blue, has moderate weight, and material in red, has more weight. Second, load. I have told you about how we can decide and calculate load. And still if you have any doubt regarding it, comment in comment box. Next is factor of safety. It is the most important factor on which a designer have to focus whether you are working in any field. For frame factor of safety need to be near about 2. Sometimes, design a frame can enhance factor of safety. So if you got stuck with all parameters, try to change the design. So, AISI 4130 is showing better results for all three frames. Remember, factor of safety cannot go below 1. Next, deformation. Deformation should be as low as possible. It shows how efficiently you have designed a frame. Again, 4130 has less deformation for all three frames with different materials. Strength. You can see, AISI 4130 has the best strength among all. So definitely it will show better results. Now cost. I have found these rates with my sources. The cost for 4130 is high, as it has high strength. So it is obvious. Better the results higher the cost will be. Further if you want to check results, you can take a screenshot of this table and can study the results. So, from all the results, we have found the best material AISI 4130. If we talk about the advantages, we have less weight, less deformation, better factor of safety and good strength compared to other materials. But, we also have one disadvantage, its cost is high, as, for go-kart frame we need around 12 meter of material, and for Baja, we need 35 to 40 meters of material. So if you cannot afford this material, then you have to look for low price with moderate strength. For this you can choose AISI 1020, with less weight, moderate deformation, moderate factor of safety, good strength and moderate cost. One thing I should mention here, that, the diameter of the cross section, a frame. If you increase the thickness of pipe, then you are adding more material, so, weight will increase, as well as, it will increase strength of frame, and so factor of safety too. So you have to deal with diameter and thickness wisely if further you have any query, you can comment below. And if you found this video worth, then please like the video and subscribe to my channel. And, if you need this PDF, then mail me on this email ID. And if you want, help regarding, how to do calculations for vehicle, suspension calculation or deciding its coordinates, how to prepare reports, let me know in comment section. I will make video on that too. Connect with us on Facebook for more updates. Thanks for watching.